Um, let's, nope. Actually, wait, let's bring this up for a second. Let's go to charts. Might as well open these. There's a chart 11. <laughs> There's a chart 39. I already have 23 open. Okay, we have three treasure charts. 11, 29, and... Or 23 and 39? Something like that. Anyway. Off we go to the east. Where we need to go is... Obviously way the hell down here. And that's quite a ways. So, I don't know if I'm going to cut. But this will give me a little, some time to really ask you guys how much... I'm going to leave it up to you. How much of this sailing would you like me to cut out? It... Okay, the Wii's freaking out. Um, it's up to you. Uh, I can keep it in if you want and just think of things to talk about. But I can't promise I'll always be able to think of things to talk about. Um, oh, look at that island. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. I can't remember what that island's called. Um, I can't promise you I'll always have something to talk about. So, I don't know. If that happens, I guess I'll have to cut. Otherwise, it'll just be awkward silence. But, you know... That's not necessarily a bad thing, because you can just enjoy the, uh, enjoy the sailing. Oh! Fuck. Well, this is a pickle. Uh, well, we've sure gotten ourselves into a pickle, haven't we? Um, alright, well, let's enjoy going around this whirlpool for a while. And... <laughs> Um, alright, this is a giant octopus. These, uh, I might as well talk about what we're seeing on the screen right now. Um, there's these giant octopus spread around, uh, at, not random, they're always in the same place every playthrough, but at certain points in the ocean, there's these giant octopus, you go near them, they'll start a whirlpool and you get sucked and slowly start going around them. They won't attack you. But if you have bombs or the boomerang, you can take out their eyes. And if you manage to take out all of its eyes, you'll get a treasure. But of course we have no bombs, nor boomerangs. And yes, plural, as in boomerangs, because I think you totally get multiple boom boomerangs. In it. So we're just going to have to let him suck us up. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, kinda close. Can I speed this up in any way? I don't think so. Can I try turning out of it? No, of course not. You can't turn out of it. You can't get out of it. You're just stuck. That's it. So, this is great. This reminds me of, like, there was, um... Ever go, like, when you're, when you're a kid in elementary school or something, and your class goes on, like, a field trip to swimming pools, and... Like, sometimes you'd get the whole pool to yourself, like, just your class, I mean, not you, but, like, the whole class would get the pool to themselves. And you could, like, I remember what we did one time, so we'd all go to the outside of the pool. I mean, we'd still be in the pool, but we'd be on the outside, um, the, just the, the, fuck it, you know what I mean. And we'd all start walking in one direction. Because it's a shallow pool, right? You you were able to walk, it was just a shallow thing. And we'd all start walking in one direction, it would, like, create a whirlpool. It was really cool, and then everybody would turn around at the same time and try walking the other way against the whirlpool. It was fun. I don't know. Okay, the octopus is right over there, next to that thing, so let's just kind of avoid that right there. I want nothing to do with that again. What's this island coming up? I might explore this island coming up if I can do anything on the island, because why not? Make some pit stops. If Mr. Red Lion Guy lets us. Um, I kind of miss those. Those, like, swimming pool field trips in elementary school. Those are fun. I don't know. Oh, there's tornadoes. That's great. Uh, what island is this? Oh, is this one of the Triangle Islands? Well, there's Samuel L. Jackson. Might as well mark the island if we're passing by it. Even if we can't do anything on it. Yeah, this is one of the Triangle Islands. Okay. Yeah, we can't do anything here yet. So we're just going to ignore it. But we can talk to Mr. Jackson over there. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here's your food. Go and get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I heard you wanted to chart information. So I start by opening your seat chart. This is Eastern Triangle Island. This island will become very important later on, but at the moment we can't do anything here. So I'm just gonna stick. With, st st I'm gonna stick over his text because he says nothing important. Well, at least nothing that I already know. It might be important, but whatever it is, I already know. What's that? Oh, it's another boat. It's a boat. I think that's. Oh, I think I know what that is. Actually, that's one of those those guys that'll like. Yeah, whatever. They dig for stuff on the ocean floor. Hey, the rain stopped. I wonder if we can do every anything on this island. God, this last way is gonna take forever if I just stop at every island along the way. But that's like that's the fun of the game, though. It's just like going around to the islands and exploring. Can we do anything here? Don't know if I can do anything on this island yet. Just gonna circle around it. Um. No, I can't do anything on this island yet. So we're gonna ignore it for now. You can't do much on any of the islands right now because we don't have very many items and stuff to help us. Okay, see, sometimes this will happen. And he'll just, like, ignore the bait because he's a jackass. What? Hey. Hey, you son of a bitch. I'm throwing away money here for you. Eat the bait. Are you serious right now? There we go. Okay. So I had to use... What was it, like, four bait before he would take it? That's fine. Thank you, fucker. Now mark my seat chart, and it better be good. Bomb Island. Oh, gee, I wonder why it's called Bomb Island. Huh, who knows? That's a mystery. Yeah, um, you can... They're, what they... Oh, that's not the sale. What they say isn't really that important, um... They basically say, um, usually anyway, they'll give you hints about the island, like what you can do there, or the mysteries of the island and such, but, eh, well, let's do it again. Now we have the grappling hook, we can do this, these little glowy spots in the sea, and dig up treasure. Who knows what we might find? Usually rupees, of course, but, in fact, I think it's always rupees, isn't it? At least for these little ones. Either that or a boot. Yeah, you can dig up a boot. Alright, 50 rubies. I'll take it. What? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put the sail there, because obviously that's where my brain thinks the sail is. So it's going to go there. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, there's a submarine over there. I don't know if I can do anything in that submarine yet. I remember in Rock Paper Mario's LP, he entered one of those submarines too early and he got his ass kicked and it was hilarious uh what's that island i'm playing i'm acting like this is my first time playing the game it's just i don't know i haven't played it in so long and it's fun and this is where we need oh, wait there's samuel L. jackson he better accept my bait this time i need to buy more bait now just because that one was a little asshole okay that's fine Yes, do you not see it rises up in the horizon? That is where we must go, Terrell. The Forest Haven. The music here is not nearly as awesome as Dragon Roost, but it's not bad. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the Great Deku Tree. I must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Pharaoh's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution. Go forth with caution, young one. Wait, let's see what Beetle has for sale. Most likely just bait, but let's buy some anyway, because I need some. He'll have other stuff for sale later on, at least at different shops, but for now, this is all we get. Might as well just fill up on the bait because we're going to need a lot of it. 
I have no way to tell if my pouch is full or not. Well, there we go, now it's full. Okay. Uh, we'll get, I guess we'll get Samuel Jackson to mark our map on our way out of this place when we leave, seeing as the Red Lion did not want me to go and see him, apparently. So. Oh, I can't wait for the next dungeon, just because the item. The most OP item in the entire friggin' game. Two, three, four. Four hits to kill these guys with the sword. The item you get in the dungeon kills them in one. So, that right there will tell you. This is a source of evil plants magic. Perhaps you can find someone and cook it up. Its magic can be unleashed. Maybe. Um, you can go behind that waterfall, but there's nothing there right now. Okay. That didn't happen. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Did he drop a seed? Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. Um... Okay, there's another, um... Oh! There's one. Um, with enemies, if you target them and use the grappling hook, you can take their treasure. So you're guaranteed a treasure from them. Very handy, especially if you're looking for a certain treasure. Because all these, all these treasures have uses later on in the game. I mean, some of the uses are more useful than others, but still, they all have uses. They're not just, like, random collectibles. And there's an Octorok shooting at me. I'm just going to ignore him. Just... I was going to ignore you, but no. It... no. Oh! Oh! Okay. I was tapping B to swim faster. Can't do that in this game. That's Ocarina of Time only, I think. I don't know. Can you tap B to swim faster in Majora's Mask? I can't even remember. Even though I just LP'd that game. I can't remember. Fuck it. The LP that went on for way longer than it should have. Come on. Come on. Okay, I missed. Come on. Shoot at me again. There you go. That's what I thought. Right. Up we go. Up. Wait, I can't reach that. Seriously? Oh, I need to. I can make that jump. What am I doing? Oh, okay, sweet. I hit that back with my sword. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, I remember that, like, the to get the deluxe picto box, you gotta come here and get one of the big fairies. I don't know. Super fairies. Super Saiyan fairies. But we already have the deluxe picto box, so we won't need to do that. Thankfully, because I always remember it being kind of a pain. Look at the little fireflies, they're so pretty. 